Hi. So I thought today we would talk about job loss because due to the recent conditions in our world with the coronavirus, I know a lot of people have lost their jobs, me included. I had three jobs and I was artist at this like art studio. I was a dog walker and I was a nanny. And um, all three of those jobs basically let me go a month ago. And it's been hard um, dealing with all the emotions that are coming up and just dealing with it. And I know from the job stats and everything that unemployment is it's at its highest. Um, and then even looking for jobs, it's, it's kind of really hard. <laughs> and plus we're not really supposed to go out, although we're starting to be able to maybe go out, we'll see. Um, and um, yeah, so know if you did lose your job, you're not alone. There's, there's so many people out there that have also lost their jobs. Um, today though, I would like to give you some tips um, on how to deal with it. Things that I've been doing to deal with my job loss and um, how I'm using it to kind of reconstruct my life. And I thought maybe it could also help you as well. So one thing um, before I even get into the tips, it's kind of like a grieving process. Um, yes, there's that five step grief, grief thing where like you go from like, you know, this whole denial to anger to depression to acceptance and all that stuff. But I don't think it's as easy as that like curve that you get. It's more like, it's kind of everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you're like me, it's everywhere. Like I have some days where I'm just completely depressed or completely like anxious or, trying to control my situation and, and not accepting what it is. Um, and, and it's a process. Um, my suggestion though, if you are going through it, is definitely try to focus on yourself, to feel how you're feeling, um, not get stuck in it of course, but to feel how you're feeling. I, I know sometimes I distract myself and, and then all of a sudden I distract myself and you know, hour goes by, I'm watching TV or something. And then all of a sudden, I'm back to square one where I'm feeling that emotion. So um, I definitely suggest um, to kind of like sort of tap into yourself, like how are you feeling? Um, and then once you kind of tap into that feeling, you can kind of move through it. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, so, so my five tips, let's go into my five tips. So tip number one is self compassion. This has gone a long way for me. I I found that when I was, I watched another video of someone describing how they lost their job and how they had to move and this and that. And it was so, I mean, it's so sad that this is happening to people all over where they're so worried about how to provide for their families, how to pay their rent and whatnot. Um, but I also realized by looking at other people and seeing that they're going through similar things that not only do I have compassion for them, but I have compassion for myself. Um, and, and it really does help go a long way. Um, just know that you're not alone. And um, tip number two is, again, tapping into those emotions. So for me, sometimes I'm very extrovert, so I tend to want to talk to people. And talking to people, getting different perspectives, kind of help, especially if you're really hard on yourself. I know I am. I'm super hard on myself and I'm like, eh, it has to be this way or point A to point B. And when it doesn't work, I get frustrated. Um, so definitely um, talk to other people, um, share your story. Sometimes that helps. Um, uh, hear other people's stories. Um, if you're very introvert, journaling. Journaling really does help, especially if you're feeling how you're feeling. Um, journal like how you're feeling and then you can kind of like move through them because as you move through it, it helps you come up with solutions. Um, because if you're stuck in that grief process, if you're stuck in in the, the sadness or depression or anxiety or trying to control what you can't control, it's really hard to move through it. Um, so I definitely suggest that. Another thing that I'm doing is I'm looking for positives in the situation. So a big thing that I'm doing is what lessons can I gain from this? So for me, I don't think I was completely happy with my life before. So I used to be a teacher and I'm working towards becoming an artist and I eventually want to be an online coach 
to help people live their best lives. And um, I realized I wasn't really passionate about what I was doing before. So this got me to really think, like, what can I do with this? How can I use this uncertainty? Because uncertainty brings up a lot of fear. It brings you out of that comfort zone. And it's, it's scary. It really is. Because you're known that job that you originally had, gone. Poof, gone. And it's it's scary to bring that up. But as soon as you start looking at, like, what can I gain from this? What lessons? How can I move forward? Um, come up with strategies. It really does help. For me, I actually wrote in my journal today, and I was like, you know what? What am I passionate about? Um, because the things that I used to be passionate about, which was teaching kids, I used to be a teacher. I still love kids, but it's not my passion. It's not what drives me. And so I started writing the list of what I'm passionate about and and what I want to do. And then after I wrote that list, um, I wrote like, you know, what I have a journal <laughs> right in front of me. Um, I wrote like, what are my strengths? You know, what are my current strengths? Um, how can I play them up? And I made a long list. Some of them are like, oh, I'm really hard on myself. That's a strength. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, you can still kind of use it or I can be a perfectionist, um, which can hold you back, but it also can help you, you know, kind of move through your life. Um, so I wrote down my strengths and then after that, I'm coming up with a plan. And one of my plans is to do YouTube videos every day, regardless. Um, at least I would like to, <laughs> hopefully I can follow through with that. But it's, so you come up with a strategy and, cause it's all about unmet needs, you know, cause you have a need and it's financial. You need to make money so you can provide for your family, so you can pay your bills, so you can buy groceries um, and just feel secure, right? Um, and and you, that need is gone. And of course it makes you feel upset. It makes you feel out of place. And so as soon as you start coming up with strategies to fulfill that need, it really does help. And so for me, coming up with strategies, plus I'm taking that uncertainty, this time to really reflect what do I want to do with my life? Do I want to change my life? Do I want to go a different direction? And for me, it is going in a different direction. Um, it's it's following my passion and doing something that I feel can make um, a difference in the world. Versus before, I was doing something, but it just, I, I don't know, it just didn't feel like me. So I definitely suggest just seeing what lessons you can gain from it and seeing, you know, what kind of positive, you know, where can you go in your life because of this? So, and it really does help. And obviously I'm not saying just see all the gold, you know, the positive stuff. Um, you can't, the whole thing of being positive and not negative, I mean, that's just crazy. Because you do have to see both sides, you know, you can't have black and white thinking. You have to have, you know, kind of a little bit of both, you know, be kind of grounded in reality. Say, yeah, this sucks, <laughs> you know, this this sucks, I, I can't do this, and da 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 da. But at the same time, know that you can move forward, you know? So, um, and number four, this leads me into number four. So accept things that you cannot change. I literally did, a, um, I do graphic design, and so I did this info uh, infographic about um, job loss. So I hope to, I wanna post the, the thing with this as well, but so I did this like circle and it was like, you know, what can't you control and what can you control? So, <laughs> sorry about that. So being that I have a phone <laughs> that I'm using this on, my lovely phone decided to dial a number. <laughs> you know, I got a call. So anyway, back to that. So number four, um, so you accept what you can't change. And as I was saying, I made this kind of diagram, you know, what can't you change? What can you change? Well, you can change how you perceive it. You can change the meaning that you give to this. You can change, um, you know, your steps, you know, and see if you can come up with a solution. You can change how you view it. Um, but you cannot change the fact that you don't have a job, that you got let go. You cannot change that the employment rate is super high and that many people aren't hiring. Um, or that the job that you used to do, which I was service provider, um, which was a kind of one-on-one -on -one contact, um, is no longer available. You know, you cannot change it. So it's like accepting what you cannot change and what, and then change what you can change. Um, and that really does go a long way. 
Um, so, um, and also along with this is I've been researching and watching a lot of videos and um, always doing self-help and financial stuff and this and that. So one of the advice that I thought was so helpful from another YouTube channel was, um, and he was like a financial advisor. So he said, you talk to the people that you owe money to. Your idea is that you can um, control, you you try to like see if you can like reduce your income, or sorry, reduce your spending, right? And then you increase your income in any way possible, right? So he said, which I didn't even think of this, you go to the biggest bills first. And so he was like, you know, a lot of car companies um, will allow you to like put your payment and have it like a month later, um, which I didn't know. And I called up my car place and end up, I was able to push it a month later, which was kind of cool because I didn't expect that. Um, and sometimes you can reduce your income with your rent. You can talk to your landlord and now they're doing stuff with, um, with your, uh, um, with the idea that you can't be kicked out essentially. Um, some states, it depends on the state. Um, and also hopefully the stimulus checks and all that stuff um, should go through. So it's giving you a little bit of hope and it gives you a little bit of control of what you can't control. And also just knowing that other people are going through the same thing you are. Um, I don't know, for me, that gave me more hope um, and it allowed me to figure out how to control what I could control and to let go of what I couldn't control. Um, and then this leads to my final point, number five. So if you are stressed out, if you are in fight or flight mode, um, which is fight or flight is this idea, it's like uh, uh, fight, you know, you kind of like try to control things, you, you kind of get a little bit aggressive in some way. Um, it can be internal, external. Um, flight, you kind of run away or you get distracted by things. Um, you know, watching YouTube videos, which I did three years ago over other things. Um, you freeze, which means you just don't do anything, um, or you can fawn. So, but if you, my point is, if you're in this heavy stress, you you can't think clearly. You know, your memory goes, you're, you tend to be fuzzy, um, you don't come up with the best solutions. And so I ask you, and I know this is hard, you have to go back into your body. You have to take some breaths. You maybe can do some meditations. Body scan meditations are great for tapping into your body. Breathing meditations. Um, I have a whole bunch of breathing meditations, some of them that I really, really love that I can link on below. But like, it's like, it helps you kind of ground yourself and center yourself and calm yourself down. You can do things that you really, really love. Like for me, it's painting. Um, I like graphic design, so I do kind of art. Or I'm learning the ukulele, <laughs> as you can see by other videos on my channel. Um, but, you know, it helps you kind of like ground yourself and relax. And even if it's a TV show, you know, you allow yourself to relax and it helps you kind of ground yourself. And then once you get into that calm space, then you can come up with strategies. You can come up with solutions to how to get yourself out of this. Um, and that really does help. Um, it helps for me and I hope it might help for you. Um, and just last thing to tell you is know that this will pass, you know, it's not forever. So anyway, I hope this helps and um, I hope to do a video a day. Right now I'm probably doing mostly job loss, um, but I also want to do more about mental health. Um, I am really interested in attachment trauma. Um, I'm interested in trauma in general and how it affects you. Um, I'm interested in financial trauma um, and um, yeah, so self-development, all that kind of stuff. And um, I hope to continue bringing videos to you and um, I hope it provided value. And if it did, don't forget to click like and um, subscribe. So thank you and um, I hope, I hope you have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>